Well, welcome to another broadcast of Let's Talk About It. I am your host, Candy Tunsto, and today our it is letting go. We'll, we will be talking about forgiveness today. But before we get into it, let me introduce my guest, Bishop Thomas Adams. Good welcome, morning. Bishop. Good, Good morning. morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So, Bishop, we're going to get right into it. Um, mm-hmm. But before we do, um, tell our guests, our listeners, a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, my name is Thomas Adams, and uh, I'm a preacher of the gospel. Amen. And uh, that's my life story. Amen. All right. All right. It doesn't take much to sum us up, right? <laughs> all right. And, but also, Bishop, we know you can sing. Now, how long have you been singing? Uh, 68 years. Bishop Adams is an anointed man of God, and he can sing. Um, and I love to hear him sing. But so, let, Bishop, we're going to get right into it. Our it today is forgiveness. Yes. So when, when you hear the word forgiveness, what, do you, what, what, what comes to mind? What does forgiveness mean to you? Personal. Mm-hmm. Personal, uh, because uh, to be forgiven, mm-hmm. it's it's vital that we do. Amen. Because it it destroys the unforgiver, mm. and and so it's important and to that we receive it. Amen. Amen. From from God, and so we, we have to, uh, as you say, let it. Let it go. And there's a lot of times we have valid reasons. All right. You know, for how we feel or what we've been through. But but it shouldn't linger a long time with Amen. us. Because uh, when it lingers, then it, it, it begins to tear at us and it begins to tear us down and to destroy us. Amen. Yes. Yeah. And, and we, we, uh, uh, we can't sleep. Mm-hmm. One you've not forgiven, that you know they sleeping all right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and you you tossing and turning because that that is in you, and whatever it is, it is eating away. Amen. Yes, at, it is at you, and and it bothers you, and it bothers your conscience. Maybe you you, and also it it it, it has a tendency to bring you in bad health. Yes. Oh yeah. You know, Oh those, yeah, those, I agree. Those type of feelings. So it becomes toxic. Yes. To not forgive becomes toxic. Yes. It toxic. Is. It's like a poison yes. going through your bloodstream. Yes. yes. And so yeah, so it's important that we forgive. Yes. Although it's hard, it's not always easy to forgive. No. It's not always no. easy to forgive. Can you reflect or remember a time when you had when you needed to forgive, but you just couldn't shake it? You just weren't yes. ready. Yes. Yes, I can. Uh, and I I held on to it a little while. Mm-hmm. But um, but I finally realized that it's bothering me more than it's yes, bothering me. Absolutely. And that's the way <laughs> it works. So, so, so I had to come to the realization mm-hmm. that I have to do this for me. Yes. Amen. Me. And so I, um, I had to forgive. And, and that, you know, you have to really... Self analyze. Yes, yes. You know, and, and come to uh, the conclusion that that what what you're doing is really detrimental to you. Amen. Yes, to, to yes. You. So it's important uh, to f- to forgive. To forgive. Yes, yes. For, forgiveness. Listen, it's not always easy, but it's necessary. It's necessary, and it is doable. Yes, because I know for me personally, it, there's been times when I wanted to hold on to things, but when I realized the way it affected me, yeah, when I, like you said, it, it would bring on bad health. You can't sleep. You can't even live your life accordingly. Right. It, it affects your entire lifestyle when you hold on to um, what somebody did or said. Yeah. You know, as I said in church, but you have to let it go. Let it go. You have to just drop it and let it go. And like I said uh, before, the word let means to allow. I allow yeah. this thing to move. Yeah. The word forgive for it, we know it's a compound word, and the yes. word for means pre- to precede and give means to transfer. Yeah. So listen, it means I no longer, I am no longer holding you accountable and I am moving this from me. But um, how do you feel if I say this? So being in unforgiveness, you can forgive, but we there is a residue left sometimes. There, there, there yes. is there is a residue, and there there's something that you have to deal with. Even though we say, even though I can say, Bishop, I forgive you. There's a residue. So how how do we deal with the residue? Yeah, you, you know what what I think you you hear people say sometimes, I forgive you, mm-hmm. but I won't forget it. Yes. And 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 that's just a code, really, for not forgiving. Amen. That's right. Uh, but you have to to forgive 
is to not dwell on it. That's it. That's it. Is to not dwell on it, and 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 it doesn't mean that you totally just forget it. Uh huh. It's just that when it does come up. You know, you pass it on. You just just let it keep going. You know, that's right. That's through right. Through your mind, you don't you don't stop there and and linger on that. You dismiss yeah. it. Yes, yes. you, you dismiss, dismiss it, it. Yeah. because you know if we dwell on something, that that's when yeah. it it it, yes. it it festers and it eats away at us. So yeah, but so I wrote down seven steps for forgiveness. Okay, and and we'll talk about that. The first step in forgiveness is to acknowledge. The word acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. Acknowledge that I've been hurt. Yes. What do you think when I say that? How do you feel when I say that? Well, it, it's it's kind of self-explanatory mm-hmm. because uh, it doesn't really take much to know that you've been mm-hmm. violated or hurt or, you know, whatever. And when you come to that conclusion, uh, then, then you realize that forgiveness has to take place. It has to take place. So the first step is to acknowledge that you've been hurt. Yeah. The second step is to consider. Consider what? How has th- this pain, mm. this hurt affected mm. me? Uh, 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 also, to go back to acknowledge, mm-hmm. I think it's important that you let the person know that hurt you, yes. that they hurt you. Yes. That, that's 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 important. That's because crucial, A lot of yes. times you can be hurt and the person don't know that they hurt you, but if you've been hurt, then it's important that you let them know. That's why the Bible says that, you know, if you have an alt Yes, yes. Amen. Person, That's it right there. You you go to that person, mm-hmm. you let them know, you know, that you, you've hurt me. Amen. And, but I forgive you or I want to forgive you. That's right. Yeah. Because we know that a yeah. saying goes, hurt people hurt people. Yes. Uh, you know, so when you're yeah. hurt, we when we're hurt, we continue we'll hurt to hurt people, else, yes. and we're and, and sometimes, most of the time, unknowingly, yes, hurt people, hurt people, yes. But then, what does what comes up next? Free people, free people. So yeah. once I get over my hurt, I become I'm, I'm able to live free. Yes. So instead yeah. of keeping allowing what you did or said to me, or what you didn't do, or what you didn't say to me, to keep me in bondage. Yes. But because to walk in unforgiveness is a bondage all in itself. itself. And so yeah. once I'm free from that thing, once I free you up, listen, I release you yeah. from what you said or what you did. So that's the way I deal with forgiveness. So the next word is consider. I have to consider how has which the hurt and the pain affected me? How, how, it, how it affects me? Well, I think that, I think that depends on the individual, mm-hmm. how we let it. Man, that's affect it. us. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you allow it, it will totally destroy you. Mm-hmm. And so, I think one must be wise, and 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 know because that if you allow this to happen and to for you to harbor this these these yes. ill feelings, mm-hmm. then it's going to really hurt you. Amen. Yes, it is. Well, I think that's and it, and it can be bad to live. I mean, some people stay in that place for years. Yeah, some people live there for years, and it's and and you know it it's it's not good. And they once once they, yeah, yeah, you become bitter. You're yeah. angry. You're walking around all po. Nobody knows what's going on, and yeah. you and a lot of times you don't know what's going on. Right. So that's why the second step is 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 important is to to. to remember, reflect upon how this hurt me. Yeah, I got to consider how, how, how why is this affecting me so bad. So then the third step I wrote down is to accept. We have to accept the fact that although we've been hurt, we cannot change what happened. Right. We cannot, right. Ex- we cannot change what somebody did. Um, so what do you say to that? Well, I, I think the, the, uh, the order that you have there, it, it's, it takes a very rational mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. and very uh, uh, fair-minded person mm-hmm. You know, to come to these uh, uh, conclusions. Yes. And if you do, I think it it it, it helps you. Amen. It helps you. Amen. Amen. And then the fourth one I wrote was, now you have to make a decision. You have to decide whether you are willing to forgive. After, I, after I've acknowledged that I'm hurt, I consider the pain and how it's affected me, and I accept that I cannot change the past, now I need to decide whether I'm willing to forgive you. You, you know. So, you know, there's a choice. Yeah. When when I when I was when I was hurt, I really didn't at first didn't want to forgive. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to to wallow in in my anger, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, 
but as I said before, one must come to 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 the conclusion mm-hmm. that that's unhealthy. Yes, amen. It's unhealthy and and it's it's sinful. Really it is. It, it, is. It, it is. It is. It's sinful because we cannot see Jesus if we're not forgiven. Yes. Yes. So it, you know, it's so, a, so it's contrary to the word yeah, of God. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. In Psalm sixty six eighteen, I quoted mm. a lot. If I regard iniquity in my yeah. heart, the Lord will Won't not hear me. me. Yeah. So that you have to let go of that sin. harboring unforgiveness in your mm. heart is a form of sin, just like you yeah. just said. So we don't want that. And if we want to heal and grow and move on, move on with our lives, we have to let it go. Yes. We simply just have to let yeah. it go. Amen. So, the, so after we've con- acknowledged the hurt, we've we've considered how the pain has affected us. We've accepted that um, that I, you know we cannot change what happened, yeah. and we've made the, the decision to forgive. So now the other the last three steps is this: we have to repair. It's time to repair. Repair. It's time to re- repair from that hurt. From so forgiveness. Once you agree or you decide to forgive, I'm able to begin my healing. Yeah. I'm able to repair. From it, amen. We, yes, that's 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 automatic. Mm-hmm. The the repair when you've come to those the the top conclusions mm-hmm. down to that point, then that's that's automatic. Yes, you know it. You you uh, uh you 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 heal self healing as you say. That's right. Self healing, and so it's it's important to 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 all those. From the number one down to there mm-hmm. to do those, and when you get to that, then it's easy, you know. To you that's know. right. And then, then I wrote after repair is learn from it. You can learn from. So once I've I've learned how to forgive you, it makes it easier to forgive something else. It makes it easier to 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 grow with this thing, to to grow in forgiveness. Because forgiveness, if we were, if the truth be told, forgiveness is not always. And I know I've said this; it's not easy. We can say, "Oh, you need to forgive." God won't forgive you. We can say all of that, but the truth of the matter is, it's not that easy for some people. So, what would yeah. you say to somebody, Bishop, that's really, really having a hard time doing all of these things? I, I think I think each occurrence have its process. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't I don't believe I know we we learn personally, mm-hmm. but I, I don't think that that okay I was hurt over here, then I'm hurt over here, mm-hmm. and and over here is helping me over here. I think each occurrence I got to deal with each occurrence as it it's happens. individual. Yeah, yeah. yes, you know, it's a different entity. Yeah, yeah, and then it's a different level. Yeah, to, as we we put the levels on it. Yeah, it's a different level, and we, we choose what we're willing to forgive. Right. You can you may right. say I can forgive you for lying, but I can't forgive you for cheating. Yeah. I, I can forgive you for for mistreating me, but I can't forgive you for for murder. You know, there's there's different things. But God says. All sin is unforgivable, except yeah. for one sin, yeah. and that's blasphemy. Yeah. So we have to forgive. Right. We, if we want to, want to be blessed in our life, we have to forgive. So we need to just let it go. We have to let go of, there's a song Ernest Pugh wrote, God wants to heal you everywhere you yeah. hurt. So God wants to heal that hurt in you, and it starts with forgiveness. And I think, I, I think that uh, it depends on... How we were hurt too. I Amen. think that has a lot to do with it, uh, or should I say, the level of of hurt that we have gotten from whoever, and it's the level depends on the easiness of forgiving, mm-hmm. and some things are hard to forgive. Yeah, that's right. Some things that's it's right. just you know you. You know, it's going. It will take time. That's right. You know, so it's a process. Yeah, it's a it, process. It, it's a process. It don't, sometimes, you know, you can just forgive right away. Some things, it's just going to take time. Some things, are, yes. Know, some things yeah, are a little yeah, harder than yeah, others. Yes. There, there. Can you reflect on a time when you struggle to forgive anyone? You don't have uh, to call any names. No. Uh, yes. Yes. I. Yeah, yes. I can. I struggled, and and uh, the hurt was was insurmountable. Mm-hmm. But it took time. Mm-hmm. It took time, and over time, I just you know eased up. And because you you know when I when I would think about it, my pressure would go up. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. You, you know, mm-hmm. just 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 thinking about it, and 
what was done and how it was done and all that. And then you, 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 you you're thinking about that and you, you, you are dwelling on that and mm-hmm. you're playing that over and over in your mind. Mm-hmm. And each time you play it over and over in your mind, you, you're going, your pressure is going up. That's right. It's higher and, and higher. So no, no, that that's, then you just got to realize, you got to realize what's happening with me. Mm-hmm. Forget about the forgiveness. That's right. This, how this is doing me. Amen. This is putting me in, in a bad way. Yes. Uh, this is, this, and if I'm a Christian, this is this is drawing me away from from God. Oh yes, oh know? yeah. And, and it's, this is doing me a job. It, it's it's causing me to, to hurt. It's causing me to 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 have my body be affected by it. And it so, will affect your body. Yes, it will affect your yeah. body. Now, we we we've we've talked about forgiving others, but sometimes the hardest thing it is to do is to forgive yourself. Yes, and and to let to to say I forgive myself. I'm I'm gonna yeah. let go of what I did. Or yeah. I shared with you all yesterday how when my daughter when my daughter passed away ten years ago, mm-hmm. how I struggled with did I do enough? I, 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 there was some guilt that came from that, and I don't know. I'm not sure where exactly it came from. So I, I struggled with did I do enough for her? Did I did I take care of her like I should? And so it took somebody to say to me, Candy, you loved her. You did everything you could for her. And sometimes to let ourselves off the hook, to let it go within ourselves, yeah. we have to, first of all, locate why I am hurt. You have to locate that pain and and, and, and think, why am I hurt? It goes back to what I said. Um, consider how the, it, it affected you. My daughter's death affected me. Even though I didn't kill her, I didn't. I had nothing to do with it. It affected me. This is how the enemy comes in. Yeah. The enemy comes in and he'll use... Um, unforgiveness as a, a true and he'll beat up on you yeah. about about you so you know that was a time that I struggled to forgive myself and I just felt like I didn't do enough, enough but I came to a conclusion listen that like you've already said it goes against God yeah it goes against God's word so I couldn't stay in that place right so in order to grow from forgiveness we really just simply have to grow we really have to just let it go let it go let it go, let it go. and I used to I think about a flat tire a flat tire sometimes, um, you can go to a tire shop. Sometimes they can patch it up. Yeah. But sometimes you just need a whole new tire. Yeah. So that means you have to dismiss that. You, that you have to throw that tire away. And so it's the same thing with unforgiveness. We can patch some, some relationships can be patched up. Some can be mended. Yeah. But sometimes you have to get rid of the dis- dis- You have to it, discard yeah. that tire. Some people yeah. in our life, they are toxic. Yeah. Some relationships are toxic. And we have to le- we learn that through God's Holy Spirit and through discern and learning, you know, through navigating through different stages of forgiveness and in different levels of hurt in different times we've been hurt. So t- sometimes you, it's real that you have to discard a person. You have to sever, you know, that relationship has to be yeah. cut off. And I think, too, I think, too, what might... Uh, have a lot to do with it is how you feel about the person mm-hmm. that has hurt you, mm-hmm. especially if you uh, love. I know in my my case, I, I was really in love, mm-hmm. you know, and so that I guess that elevated everything, mm-hmm. you know. So that that has a lot to do with it too yeah because you know if it's somebody that you care little about it doesn't you know yeah it's easier to dismiss yeah. it's like but when you when you are in love with a person mm-hmm. and they hurt you then you know it's it's hard it's, it's hard. hard it's it's a, hard. it's a process it's hard it takes that, time that's right and it sometimes time. it's family Yes. A lot yeah. of times, you know, not, I would say 75% of the time, yeah. most hurt comes from family. from family. And I say that boldly. You know, people can disagree, but a lot of hurt comes from family. Or people you and, know. And, or people yeah. that's close to you. Yeah. That's right. And church folk. Yeah. Church folk. But, but the thing with that is because they're family and because we love them, yeah. eventually it'll work itself out. Yeah. It we, we we you should be able to work through it if you really love the Bible says look love covers a multitude of faults so if you really love somebody you should be able to work yeah. through it that's the way a marriage stands yeah and I I want to just say because you mentioned you mentioned church folk mm-hmm. and I just want for the audience to 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 understand that when we say church folk mm-hmm. to let them know that everybody that go to church is that's not, right is not 
God folk. God folk. That's right. Because there is a difference. There's a major There's a difference. difference. I'm glad you point that church out. Church folk and mm -hmm. Christians. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so, so we don't want anybody to get anything against. That's right. No the church. We don't want anything yeah. against the church. Yeah, church. What I mean by yeah. church folk, because the devil church even go to just church. Go, yeah. Yeah. The devil, the first one there. So we, everybody that's standing yeah. in the pulpit and everybody that's in the seats on the pews, they're not saved. That's they're a good point, saved. Bishop. Yeah. And I'm glad you say that. Yeah. That's right. So it's no, it's no. Um, not to cast down or to bring oh, yeah. down anything on church people because yeah. I'm a church folk. Yeah, I'm church. And, and I, you know, and I love the yeah. Lord. And, yeah. and and what we're doing through this broadcast is trying to help Time, somebody yeah. with forgiveness and let them know that you can't overcome your hurt. Right. No matter what you're struggling with right now, whether it's family, church, mm -hmm. close friends, a spouse, or whatever, you can overcome. You can yes. forgive, but you have to be willing to. So right. because forgiving is deliberate. Right. It's something we do right. purposefully. Right. You have to either you either choose to forgive or you choose not to forgive. And choosing not to forgive is like you've said already. It means that I'm gonna hold on to this hurt, the pain, and look at what I it does to. to you. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I, I want, want I want to stay to. right here. Yeah. I remember my sister in law um, when she first got when they first got married, um, and her and my brother would get into an argument and, and she was always a funny person to me. But she would say, he apologized. She'd say, I said, No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to let it go. I'm still mad. And sometimes we are still mad. Yeah. Sometimes we, 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 we look, we, we, you ever had a good man and you wanted to hang, we call yeah. it a good man yeah. and you wanted to hold on to it. But yeah. eventually that thing wear off. Yeah. It, it wears off and it plays yeah. out. And so what I believe, um, what um, I believe that when you have truly forgiven someone, the sting of it is gone. Yeah. It no longer holds a sting. Yeah. It no, you, you know how you can get see somebody, you get angry every time you see them. You remember what they did. But instead of remembering what they did, remember what the Lord did. Yeah. And because we're forgiven, we have to forgive. Right. We have to forgive. So when, when, that, when you take the sting away from it, because like you said earlier um, in the broadcast, you said, the popular saying is, I can forgive you, but I won't forget. Yeah. It, well, it, the truth be told, you won't forget. You never right. forget. But what right. forgetting means is that I no longer hold you accountable Over. for what you did. Yeah. So that's how I forget it. Yeah. Because mentally, we don't forget. Don't, we don't. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So what else would you like to share with our audience, Bishop, our, our, our listeners? Uh, I, I had a thought, but it left, <laughs> <laughs> it, right. it left me mine. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, but what else can you speak on to uh, um, as far as forgiveness? Oh, I know. When you said, when, when, when you said your sister-in-law said, uh, I'm not ready. Mm -hmm. I, I, think that's, I think that's honest. That's right. I, I think it's honest, mm -hmm. and, and I think it's out of love. That's right. It's right now, right now. Yeah. Just leave me alone. Right now, yeah. Give me a few but, minutes or a couple of days. Yeah, give me a minute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that think that's that's I think that's honest. And, and we know the popular thing with women, if the truth be yeah. told, you know, y'all <laughs> when y'all say you're sorry, you're supposed to be over immediately. Right. But we're we're women, we're emotional creatures. On. Yeah. And right. so we 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 might need a day or a week or something. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and like you said, it's honest to say, yeah. just give me a minute. Yeah. Give me a minute. Because me, I process process better alone sometimes. Okay. You know, I need, I need, give me 10, 15 minutes and let me collect my thoughts and let me get this thing together yeah. and realize I have to acknowledge the hurt, consider the hurt, accept it, decide, and then I can repair. Yeah. And then I can learn. Yeah. So listen, forgiveness is always, is not always easy, but you can do it. Let it go. Let, yeah, it, go. let it go. Let it go. And so let me see what else I wrote down here. We have, okay, we've all been, we've all had situations where we needed to forgive or we needed to be forgiven. So with that being said, that, should, that in itself should make it easier to forgive someone because you owe, listen, the Bible says in John, I mean, in, I'm sorry, in Matthew 7 and 1, judge not that ye be not judged yeah. for the same measure that you give it the same measure that's going to come back. Yeah. So if I'm, if I'm only willing to forgive you a little, then, 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 then I'm not, I'm only going to be forgiven a, a little. little. Yeah. And the Bible also says to whom much is given, much is required. Right. So yeah. that's much required of us. We want to be forgiven. Yeah. So listen, you have to pay it for it sometimes. Yeah. I have to forgive you. According to Bible, I have scripture. I have to forgive you. Yeah. In order to be to be forgiven, I, I think a, a good scripture that you that you used uh, yesterday when you when you talked about the the man that uh, was forgiven mm -hmm. for a whole lot. Yes, I mean, Matthew eighteen. Owed, yeah, he mm -hmm. owed a whole lot, but then after he was forgiven, he went to find somebody that owed him, and, and it was just. A, 
just a little bit there, and he grabbed him by the throat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, so that 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 kind of that kind of uh, attitude. He he was he was cast out. Of, the, the Bible says he was cast out and out of out of darkness, mm-hmm. and so that. That's because he wouldn't forgive. He wanted forgiveness. He begged for it, mm-hmm. you know. But the other person begged, but he didn't do it. So, yeah. So you get what you put out. That's right. That's right. That's right. And so I remember a time um, when I was in my twenties. Maybe I owed somebody mm-hmm. some money, and somebody owed me. I'm going to get my money. You gonna get my money? <laughs> then the Lord say, "Wait a minute, but you owe them." Yeah. So sometimes we have to remember what do you owe, and, and it's not always about money. Right. What you owe whatever people I your don't. time. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you, you 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 have to give whatever you, the Bible says freely you have received, freely you give. We have to give. You, forgiveness right. yeah. is really a gift. It's a gift. Yes. Four more minutes. So we have four more minutes, Bishop. Okay. So what how do we how do we sum this up? How, how do you want to close? I think to to sum it up, uh what Jesus uh said to Nicodemus. It all comes down to you've got to be born again, mm-hmm. and to let people know that Jesus love them. Yes, you know it doesn't matter uh, what you've done, it doesn't matter how long you've done it, mm-hmm. but Jesus loves you, and when you come to Him, He won't cast you aside. That's he, right. He He'll forgive you if you are serious about wanting to uh, be forgiven. He will He will forgive. Like uh, Jesus told Peter, four hundred ninety times. Four hundred ninety times—that's a lot of times to forgive somebody in a day. Mm-hmm. And so the 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 point is, is not so much as four hundred ninety. It's just you're not counting. That's it. That's you're, it. You're not counting. You mm-hmm. just forgive. You know, if 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 you are asked to be forgiven, mm-hmm. then our job is to forgive. Yes. And so and if we don't. We don't get it. Yes, amen. So you've heard it right here on Let's Talk About It, right here on KAZ Radio. And listen, you can forgiveness is doable. You can forgive. Yes, you can yeah. let go of the hurt. It's been with you too long. You've been carrying it too long, and there's nothing you can do with it. So you may as well give it to God. Turn it loose. Let it go. Until next time, on mo- next Monday at 11 a.m., we'll see you next time right here on Let's Talk About It on KAZ Radio. God bless. <laughs>